Hello guys, Rob here. A few weeks back I did this video adding airdrop tokens into Grey Mass and Squirrel Wallet if you were not seeing them, if they were not already showing up in those wallets. And I got a question from the community, how do we do this using Scatter Wallet? So, in this one we're going to walk through how to add in airdrop tokens to Scatter Wallet if they are not already showing up in there for you. So with Scatter Wallet, you have your identities over here, and if you click on an identity, it shows you all the accounts for every chain that are attached to those keys you input, and you can click on that identity and see the tokens you have in that account. Scroll down, here's all the tokens I have in this account. So if, you, if you're scrolling through here and you don't see a token listed, that's all right. We can go ahead and manually add that in ourselves. So I came back here to the just the main page of Scatter, the main screen of Scatter. And what we need to do in order to add new tokens is come up here to the gear icon. Click on the gear icon. And this is using the latest version Scatter, uh, but I believe this is the same process for at least the previous version I know it was, but I think going back a couple versions or maybe all the versions it's the same process so on the gear icon again home page here gear icon come over here to the basics and go to tokens once you click on tokens there is the add token button here and on this page is where we can add in new tokens so you choose which network you want to add the token to if you're adding an EOS token EOS mainnet if you're adding a Telos token, Telos mainnet. If you're adding a Boss token, Boss, Warbly token, Warbly, Meet One token, Meet One. You get the idea. You select your network here. So let's just go over for how to do a EOS token. And here you can give the token a name. Uh, this is just for your own reference. You can leave this empty. It says name this token or leave empty to use its symbol. So then the two areas we need to fill in are the contract and the symbol. So in order to get the contract and the symbol, you can simply just come over to a block explorer like blocks or EOS flare, whatever you want to use and scroll down to your airdrop token section. Let's just say POS token wasn't in there. Uh, it is in there, but let's just say it wasn't. Here is the token contract and then the symbol is obviously POS. So you would take the contract symbol and paste that or type it into the contract section here and then for the symbol obviously put the symbol of the coin P EOS and hit whitelist token and that would add it in for all your EOS accounts on all your scatter identities so there it is guys it's quick simple to do again all you need to do is on the main page here come up to the gear icon click it click on the tokens section here and then once in the token section click add token and then here is the page where essentially all you need to do is fill in the contract account name and the symbol here after choosing which network token is on so there you go guys that's it for this quick one that is how you add airdrop tokens into scatter that are not already showing up if you guys enjoy these quick how-to videos drop a like if you're not subscribed already hit that subscribe button click on that notification bell we got plenty more eos content coming your way and don't forget to follow us on twitter link in the description but that's it for me for this quick one guys i will see you guys in the next one